Hi everybody, welcome to another Trimble Site Vision uh, tutorial video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a topographical modeling workflow, making use of some of the uh, new reality capture features with Site Vision version 5. So here we are in uh, Trimble Business Center, and we started off with basically a blank project here. And I'm going to use this to set up Site Vision so that we can make sure that when we go out and capture our points and do some scanning, all of those are going to show up in the in the right location. And now you can see that I've input some uh, survey points. Uh, I've also set up the uh, survey coordinate system that I want to use. Um, and with all that established, I can export this now to Trimble Connect using the Site Vision AR exporter. Uh, what that will do is it will publish those points uh, along with the supporting calibration file straight up to Trimble Connect, where we'll be able to load that within Site Vision in the field. And here we are now out in the field with Site Vision. We've just uh, turned it on. And the first thing we need to do is just wait for the uh, GNS receiver to basically dial in and give us a good solid green position. Uh, once that's set, we can start to do our 10 meter walk, which is going to then orientate Site Vision so that it knows it's in the correct location. Uh, so once our orientation is green, we're good to go and start capturing data. Uh, you can see we're using the new LiDAR uh, capture app, which is available with an iPad or iPhone with uh, LiDAR. Um, and what that does is it allows us to just walk around and, and scan the real world, and it will basically capture a point cloud of all that data. So you can see that as I'm walking around, I'm basically seeing a preview of all that data that I've captured inside Site Vision. Um, this helps me to make sure that I've got all the data I need. I can get into these kind of tight nooks and crannies um, and, and get all of the information that I'm trying to capture here. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going around and just capturing these uh, curb, this curb from the car park here because I want to do a, a topographical survey and, and map that out. To finish capturing all my data, I can just hit the tick button. I can type in the name of the scan that I want to save. Uh, and when I save that, what it's going to do is it's going to create a LAS file, which is a standard industry format of point cloud. And it's going to copy that up to Trimble Connect. So here you can see that LAS file in Trimble Connect. Uh, and from there, what I can do is pull that straight back down into Trimble Business Center. So I'm using the remote file feature of Trimble Business Center to just pull that directly down from the cloud. Um, and I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to choose a georeference point cloud. And you can see this is going to just drop straight into Trimble Business Center. Because of that work I did at the start, setting up the coordinate system and exporting that with the calibration information, you can see that the point cloud that I've captured has come directly in, in the basically georeferenced already. There's no post-processing or registration that's required. So this makes it a really accessible and fast workflow. You can go out and capture a lot of information, um, bring it straight back into your office software um, without needing to do any of the quite time consuming post-processing. Um, so Turning on the background map, you can see as a, as a chick and a visual inspection to make sure I'm in about the right spot. Um, and now it's gonna you know, take a look at the point cloud. You can see the, the density that we're getting with the mobile capture. You know, this is not gonna be as dense or as accurate as a traditional terrestrial scanner, but it's gonna be good enough for a lot of applications and workflows. And we'll take a look at one of those here. So this is one of the, uh, one of the many cool uh, features that Trimble Business Center offers. Um, this is actually a tool which is going to help you do uh, feature extraction of a curb. Um, so I'm just going to run through that really fast, just give a quick demonstration. Basically, you just cut through the through the point cloud, um, define the template you want to extract, and then Trimble Business Center will actually run through and automatically extract that. Sometimes you need to give it a bit of a hand when you're going around corners. This is still a really fast way to document the topographical survey and create the line work that I need. So now that I have that line work created in Triple Business Center, I just want to highlight uh, one of the really unique aspects of this workflow, which is that it's almost iterative and it can be continuous. Um, so you can see I can take those lines and I can actually use that same Site Vision AR exporter to publish and upload those back to Triple Connect. Um, what that means is that I'll be able to take those that line work back out into the field and actually visualize that with Site Vision. So I can use that to validate um, the information that I've collected or even present that to a potential client. Um, you know, so it's a really, really interesting workflow um, where we're able to move seamlessly between the field and the office, both capturing and visualizing information. So thanks for watching. And for more information, check out our website or contact your local Trimble distributor.